Hello everybody, in today's video I wanted to show you how to apply polyurethane or spirochrane, this one is from Minwax, um, on your uh, wood. So first of all, um, this is a, well, dangerous and poisonous uh, solution here. Um, you don't want to shake it, you just want to stir it. Um, and the purpose of this is to protect the wood from moisture. So you basically apply it to the wood and it becomes like a thin thin sheet of like plastic uh, but it protects the wood and it kind of works with the wood as it expands and contracts and protects it from let's say rain if, you, if you're doing an outdoor piece uh, you apply this with a brush so first of all you want to make sure the wood is clear of all the debris so you may want to vacuum it uh, wipe it down with you know clean um, cloth or, or rug um, yeah, but make sure there's no, no debris whatsoever. We're going to be using a, a normal high quality brush um, and you simply dip and then you go with the grain. So you just apply with the grain. You can use uh, a piece of cloth or paper towel to wipe any uh, areas where it is uh, kind of bleeding uh, because if you don't do that, that's going to be visible, those, those drops and, and that, 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 that are dripping they're gonna be visible on the wood. So you wanna wipe those down. Um, if you don't, uh, what you do is after applying the first coat, you wanna sand it with the 220 grit sandpaper. Um, sand the piece, again, vacuum it, remove all the dust, uh, and then apply the second coat um, again. And then the maximum I think you probably need is three coats um, if it's for like outdoor use. If it's indoor use, probably two coats is enough. Um, what else? You should be wearing, um, you know, gloves um, like these or um, even even like thicker rubber gloves. You don't want to get this on your skin. If you get this on your skin, wash it with water. Um, you all definitely don't want to get it into your eyes. So you want to wear eye protection. If you get it into your eyes, you have to wash your eyes for like 20 minutes. Um, and you don't want to inhale it. Uh, it does, th th there are fumes that are kind of toxic. Uh, so I'm gonna be wearing respirator. Uh, and you wanna be working in a well ventilated area. So keep the windows open. If you can work outside, even better. Uh, but today's, you know, snowing and, and raining. So we're working indoors. So uh, let me open this up and uh, show you how we're gonna apply it to these shelves here. One last piece, if you want to clean, um, clean the solution, clean your brush, uh, we're going to be using mineral spirits. Um, this is a, acts as a soluble and uh, kind of um, clean, cleans the brush after. So all we do is we pour some of this solution in a, you know, any, any jar um, and then we'll, uh, we'll dip the brush inside, let it soak. Um, and then you simply, you know, you know like wash it afterwards. But uh, that's how, uh, that's how you, you, you can clean um, polyurethane or spirochrane from your, uh, <clears throat> from any area. Okay, so let me put this on first. All right, we're gonna start over here. Stir it a little bit. And then we're gonna go with the grain. And as you can see, it's a clear coat. This one is a clear satin coat.
So that's pretty much it. We just keep going like this. Um, and after we're done, you have to let it dry for about six hours before you, uh, you start sanding it and, uh, you know, applying the second coat. Uh, hope you found it useful. It is pretty easy. It requires really uh, minimal knowledge. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll make sure to get back to you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.